In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a check template for use with pre-printed checks. First of all, in order to use this, uh, your checks need to be in sheet form, 8.5 by 11. Business checks need to be perforated at 3.5 inches. And personal checks need to be perforated at 2 and 7 eighths inches. You can't print on a check like you'd tear out of your checkbook. It probably wouldn't feed through your printer anyway. So if we're good there, let's uh, go to Check Builder Pro, select the template. What you'll want to do is uh, select a check template that matches your pre-printed check. And so you'll need to look carefully at each of these previews, read the description, and select the right one. So for uh, illustrative purposes, we'll use our check template for um, the QuickBook style. Give it a name here. Now what you want to do is uh, right after the check opens, you're going to navigate to the layout tab of the edit window that drops down under your check. And here in the center section are some settings for pre-printed checks. But for 99% of people, uh, simply clicking the default settings button should take care of things for you. Okay, confirm that's what you want. And literally it gives you a blank check, no pun intended. You can customize the, the settings here. You can see the various sections of the check that have been hidden. Uh, check lines here, you can go back to your info, bank info, uh, bank numbers and toggle those off and on depending on the nature of what's uh, already printed on your checks. So uh, that's really it. Uh, we do need to do some test prints. And so what we're gonna do is create a bogus transaction like we're writing a check and uh, we'll print that and then overlay that onto one of our existing pre-printed checks to see how things line up. So let's go to the Write Checks tab. And this is going to ask us here for a beginning balance, um, which is really another subject. So we're just going to cancel out of that now because that's for your check register. Let's enter in a payee. In an amount. And uh, we won't worry about a, a category at this point. We'll put in a, a memo here. And then uh, you can see it, it previews it on your screen here. We're going to click the Add to Print List. We have our software configured, so it warns us if we haven't selected a, a, a category and account. But we're not going to worry about that right now. OK, so this um, uh, enters the information into the Checks to Print window. And so we're going to click print. Uh, and it's on this uh, screen right here where you select the format of the check uh, for business checks. So we can do three per page and then uh, three styles of voucher checks. Check at the top, check at the middle, check at the bottom. And um, so we'll leave uh, that set on check stub stub. And we'll do a print and see what it looks like. Now while the printer's printing that, you'll notice over here in our checks to print window, when we started there was a check mark in front of the payee name here, Robert Smith. If you need to do any subsequent test prints, rather than uh, entering in another uh, bogus payee or transaction, you can just click on this area right here and it resets the check mark and then you can print again. You will get a warning that that check has already been posted to the register. Um, and so it hasn't entered it again, which is what it should do, but you can just ignore that. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we've got our test print, is we're going to lay that over the top of a pre-printed check and see how things line up. Okay, we're back with our uh, test print. We've laid it over the top of a pre-printed check here on our light table. If you don't have a light table, you could hold it up to um, a window, Pull it up to a bright light, just carefully aligning the, the test print to the check, and then see if the payee amount, etc., line up correctly with your pre printed check. If things aren't printing correctly, uh, you can come back to Check Builder Pro and we'll make some adjustments. What we're going to do first is we're going to click on the Fonts tab and we're going to click on the Sample Data button. And that'll put some information into the check so that we can see what we're doing. Then we're going to come back. To the layout tab and if we just need to move the whole check up or down or left or right we can use these controls here we've got check position selected 
and uh, one click on this button will uh, move the check image one pixel. Uh, and then you have to click again to move it uh, another pixel. If you hold down the option key on your keyboard, you can click and hold down these arrow buttons for uh, more rapid movement. So we'll do that just so you can see what we're talking about here. So I'm holding down the option key and you can see everything's moving up and down. If you just need to move an individual section on the check, you have two options. You can just click on that object, like here the, the payee uh, name and the amount line, which are always together, and you can, you can click and drag that uh, up and down. Here I'll click on the, uh, the amount in words, um, the, the address block, the memo, the date, etc. For a little more precise movement, you can click this button here, move into individual sections. And this will give you a control panel where you can select what you want to move. It'll highlight it for you. Here you can see in the yellow. And then again, you can hold down the option key for a more rapid movement, uh, get things lined up. Then what you want to do is do another test print. Like I said, reset this check mark and then print again and see how things line up. Then once you have things printing where you want, what you'll want to do is delete this bogus transaction from your check register. So we'll do that. Go to the check register. Here you can see it listed here. We're going to click one time on it to select it. Come down to this menu right here and select delete selection. It's going to confirm that that's what you want to do and then it deletes it. Now when you um, get ready to write checks for real, you do your first print. What you'll want to do is adjust the check number here to the actual check number on your pre-printed check. Once you do that and print checks, it will remember where you left off and pick up and continue from there unless you uh, elect for whatever reason to reset this. That should be about it.